Hey everybody, welcome to the Hillbilly Voodoo channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of overview on my homemade foundry, or furnace if you want to call it, and all the gear that go with it is a foundry. So, what have we made this thing out of? It's a chopped down propane tank. On the inside of the propane tank, we've lined it with a layer of ceramic wool around the inside here and then that is covered up with a layer of Portland cement mix and vermiculite or perlite. It's got a little pedal on the side here. It pushes up on a rod. So it lifts the lid so that you can pivot the lid back down. It'll hit the lid on the top. The burner is just a bolt with a hole drilled in it for the orifice, a fan, which is a hair dryer, and a valve. Propane comes into there, gets forced in, and it burns inside the chamber. Heats it all up nice and hot. You can melt aluminum, copper. I haven't tried melting steel yet, but I'm sure that it would get hot enough seeing as how I've burnt through one of my homemade pipe crucibles. You know they're made out of metal, so if it melts the crucible, then chances are it'll probably melt metal. My homemade tools. Those are molds that I use to pour my aluminum ingots into. And just a chunk of channel with plates on the ends of them. Obviously full of water right now. You gotta have to uh, dry all those out. My little lifter thing that goes on to grab the hooks on either side so you can lift the crucible out. There's a hook on the back which you hook on with that little thing and you pour it so we're gonna get you set up on a tripod here and we are going to pour molten aluminum into there we have to fill sand around the outside to hold the aluminum into those little cups and we're going to pour some aluminum pancakes to make some spacers out of get this thing fired up here get you on a tripod and we'll Show you what's happening. Well, we'll fire this thing up here and hopefully we won't lose any eyebrows in the process. Got the propane going. Sometimes I like to let it run for a little bit to warm it up before I flip on the fan. Lost a little bit of hair on the back of the hand there, but that's kind of commonplace with this thing. So let's see if we can get this to run on the blower. Without going out. Once it gets hot, it's burning pretty good. Now I'll close the lid. Usually takes a little bit to warm up. I've already got the metal in there inside the crucible. I'll have to add some more as it melts down. When you get to the molten part, I'll show you what's up. Actually, I'll show you close the lid here first.
is hot and it's melted, and I'm not talking like spicy hot, I'm talking like melt your shit off hot. So, we'll open it up. metal in there to help with milk in the next dot.
Got our metal pancakes popped out of the molds. They're uh, pretty substantial. They're, I would say, about two and a half inches thick by six inches round. And I made a couple others that are, oh, probably about an inch and a half thick. They're still cooling there in the mold. Now we can make whatever we need out of them. Spacers or pulleys or something else. If you're liking this type of content, give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments and subscribe. And until next time, use what you got to make what you want.